So if you're wondering where your OBD port is on your Kia Sorento, this is the right hand drive, um, which is just here. So just take off this panel and this one comes out. This is where your OBD um, scanner goes in. All right, so I just connected my RDGX 600S to my Kia Sorento. This is a 2.2 diesel version. Now, as soon as I connected this, I can see a lot of these options available on this unit. So I'm just gonna go and run some diagnosis just to see what what sort of um, options are available I'm just gonna go um, via OBD I'm just gonna run a simple diagnostic to see if there's anything that I need to be worried about so let's have a look so it's now scanning just to see if there's any OBD codes so it has now found that this is um, this is the car's vehicle identification number, ignition, everything. Yeah, I'm just gonna go enter. And I'm gonna see if there's any fault codes. No fault code found, which is good. Now let's have a look at the uh, DPF. DPF suit levels should be in the maintenance if I go now to DPF uh, Looks like it needs the model so let's find out our car Kia Okay. Okay. Vehicle name. Yep, looks like it found the vehicle itself. It's gonna go ECM. Special function. DPF service regeneration. Yep, so it's just, just, it's just telling you like, what is this doing? This thing, it's gonna do a test, which is used to remove the suit level. Okay, I'm just gonna go okay. Okay, okay to continue. Yep, looks like the suit. All right, so this this screen tells you the suit mass in there. Now, if I want to do a force start, that will regenerate. So let's do it. I just stopped it so considering this is because I think it's standing still the region might not work so I just stopped it from um, forming the DPF region um, I'll try it some other day with the, um, the car running um, on the road I can't run I can't drive this car at the moment because it doesn't have a number plates um, it's getting registered in uh, in weeks time so I'll retry again next week and hopefully that'll um, be a much better test